death toll in the Huruma tragedy has risen to 51 after two more bodies were recovered last night. This comes as the number of those still unaccounted for is reported to be 28. The recovery teams in Huruma will now be confined to Nairobi River as their operations wind down. Let's now talk to our reporter Murimi Mwangi who is on the ground and joins us now by way of phone. Murimi, if you can hear me, please give me the latest from where you are at. What is happening on the ground at the moment? Good afternoon, Sharon. Up until now, 28 people cannot be accounted for. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you said, 51 people have been reported dead from the tragedy. Mm -hmm. But their bodies were not recovered from the rubble per se. Uh, you remember up until last night, 49 people had been reported dead. But two of the victims that had been taken to hospital uh, succumbed to their injuries right at the hospital. And with the 28 people still missing, the rescue operation now turns to Nairobi River. Mm -hmm. Since uh, the search and rescue on site has been completed, and the fears are that uh, a majority of those people uh, reported missing might have drowned as at the time of the tragedy. Uh, or perhaps uh, for some good news from the Red Cross, uh, they say that perhaps uh, among those that have been reported missing, they may have been living here at some point, but as at the time of the collapsed building, either they had moved out or were not in uh, the building. And therefore, uh, as the search and rescue continues, the uh, attention now turns to the authorities, the security authorities that are set to... Uh, search now for these missing persons. The names will be made uh, public so that in case they are uh, okay and have not been traced, they can report to the authorities and their families or the next of kin can be informed. 28 still missing, 51 dead, and the search and rescue operation on site complete. Sharon. Right, Murumi, Murumi, and just to get this clear for our viewers, when, uh, when we say that the search and rescue uh, mission has been completed, does this mean that they have gotten down to the foundation of this building and turned all the rubble in that uh, search, searching mission? Remember from uh, the point when the rescue operation started, uh, mm -hmm. they would move uh, floor by floor, uh, rubble by rubble, from one edge of the uh, debris that was accessible to the heavy equipment. Mm -hmm. And that went on until uh, to, to the foundation, uh, because you remember when the tragedy happened, a section of the building had sunk, mm -hmm. so uh, the excavators had to move down to that section until they got to the foundation. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, what has been happening step by step since the, the, the debris could only uh, be accessed from one edge of the building. And according to the disaster management unit, they are uh, done with the rescue, the search and rescue on site. And the fears are that uh, the missing persons might be uh, trapped in the Nairobi River, perhaps even downstream away from the site of the tragedy, Sharon. Right, Murimi, and lastly, uh, now that the search has turned to the Nairobi River, is this river, uh, you know, right behind the building that uh, fell such that uh, those missing could have, you know, maybe fallen into the river? And are they doing this search along that stretch in the area or further along the flow of the river, Murimi? No, they've just started from uh, just beside uh, the area where the tragedy happened, but the idea... Uh, behind the rescue operation now uh, on Nairobi River is to move downstream mm -hmm. so that in case any of the bodies or any of the survivors may mm -hmm. have uh, been uh, pushed downstream by uh, mm -hmm. the water, then they can perhaps retrieve him or her or try to get in for Because what they're saying is that part of the identification documents for some of the missing persons were found on the river away from the site of the tragedy and therefore the fear mm -hmm. is that uh, parts of the missing persons or some of the missing persons may have uh, been pushed downstream by the water as at the time of the tragedy. Remember it was raining that night and uh, the, the river was flooded and therefore 
uh, the fears are that they might be downstream away from uh, the site of the tragedy, Sharon. Right. Thank you very much. Our reporter there, Murimi Mwangi, who has been uh, following this developing story, tragic story actually from the start, telling us that now that uh, search and rescue mission has officially been closed on the site, but it continues along the floor of the river to see if the 28 who are still missing perhaps are somewhere washed down by the gushing waters of that river.